What's up guys, Digital VFX again, and I'm bringing you another tutorial on how to uh, make a sidechain for a progressive house song. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to make the same chord progression that I did in my last uh, video on how to make a progressive house song. And this is going a little bit more advanced on how to get some better songs, or some better sounds and some pretty common stuff that a lot of progressive artists do so I'm going to go to piano roll and I'm gonna make the same chord progression I did oops get the paint tool out And I might not just do the t top two notes or the last four notes. I might not put those up. I might just do the chords without the transition. So last chord. All right, let's see how it sounds. same chord all right so whatever it doesn't need to be uh, perfect because I'm just doing a uh, tutorial so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the next pattern and do whatever you want to be uh, muted out um, so if you want it to be muted out every 16th note then you do every two but I want to do it every quarter note I want it to be muted like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this in. This is going to be your side chain. What you're going to do is you're going to make sure that's highlighted. Um, bring up the kick, drop down arrow, assign free mixer track. Do the exact same thing for Zeta or whatever VST you're using. Move, move the actual plugin window, drop down, assign free mixer track. So I have my kick and my plugin right here. For the kick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the little drop down box and go to. Uh, where is it? Fruity P controller. And I'm going to bring the volume to about 40%. You can see up in the top. I'm going to bring the bass down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, Zeta. Right click. Actually, I'm going to right click on the uh, volume knob. Go to link to controller, change the internal controller to peak, the mapping formula to inverted, and right here where it says one input, you're going to uh, delete that one and do point 0.8. And smoothing, you can uh, play with that to see how it goes, sounds, and uh, press OK. And now when you press it, you adjust the volume knob. see how much you want this to uh, go up and down you can adjust all these notes oops you want to keep the bass down to zero and you can go in <coughs> and uh, if you can unmute that as you can see now you can hear the kick but that is how you get a lot of cool uh, and I ran out of kick there so 
So that's how you get a cool side chaining effect that uh, Deadmaus uses. So, um, hope this helped. Uh, remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.